The average surgeon earns $255,438 per year. Non-surgical doctors in the US earn between $186,044 and $339,738 per year. Despite the propaganda coming from the government, law enforcement agencies, the movie industry, and the top lieutenants of the drug cartels, the average crack cocaine dealer makes less than minimum wage annually. We've been trained to think of doctors as lifesavers and to consider unlicensed drug dealers as killers. The facts prove otherwise. Deaths caused by illicit drug overdoses range from 3,800 to 5,200 per year in the US. Deaths caused by firearms, including suicides and homicides, was 29,974 in 2005. By the most egregiously inflated estimate, illegal US drug dealers may have been involved in 35,174 deaths in 2005. In 2005, the number of deaths from adverse pharmaceutical reactions from properly prescribed drugs was a colossal 118,000. This number doesn't count medical mistakes, fatal procedures, or diseases that were caused by the medications. Statistically, doctors in the US are over three times more deadly than gun owners and drug dealers combined. Unlike your local drug dealer, your doctor has a 17% chance of killing one of his clients this year. When will the government begin instituting doctor bans? When will we need a special license and a waiting period before we're approved to visit a doctor? When will the arrests begin? The treatment, not cure, for a cancer patient in the US averages about $100,000 per year, including testing, chemo, drugs, radiation, and surgery. All of these are known to cause recurrent cancers and thereby cause lifetime chemical dependence on the treatments. Heroin, by comparison, is quite a bargain. The average heroin user pays only 30 to 40K per year. As with their unlicensed counterparts, doctors always have free samples to ensure that dependence happens, even when the dependence is merely psychological. How many emergency visits to hospitals are made each year in the US for both illegal and pharmaceutical drugs? There are about one million emergencies caused by illegal drugs each year. Doctor prescribed pharmaceuticals cause 2.3 million medical emergencies. How many drug dealers target children? 30% of children aged 10 to 19 are taking pharmaceutical drugs, most of which are mind-altering psychotropics used as chemical straitjackets. Most of these drugs were never tested or approved for use with children. They are designed to be highly addictive. Practically every illegal drug was once sold by the pharmaceutical industry after supposedly being proven safe and effective. For example, heroin is Bayer's best-selling drug of all time. Patients were told that heroin would cure their addiction problems. The drugs being prescribed now have nowhere near the safety testing that the illegal drugs were given. Over a century ago, Bayer Pharmaceuticals realized the family that dopes together stays together. An unlicensed dealer will never secretly share your private information with the government and dozens of nefarious corporations. An unlicensed drug dealer will never get your children taken away for medical neglect to punish you for disagreeing with him. An unlicensed drug dealer gets no perks, but 94% of doctors accept big pharma kickbacks for the drugs they deal. Nor do unlicensed drug dealers make their clients wait for hours while they listen to sales pitches from drug company representatives. Medical schools actually teach doctors to humiliate troublesome patients by putting such patients into demeaning hospital gowns as a method to re-establish a relationship of dominance. 
Unlicensed drug dealers are rightly demonised for causing chemical addictions and perpetuating existing addictions. What most people fail to realise is that licensed drug dealers foster chemical addictions too. Most cancer therapies cause or perpetuate cancers into the long term. Synthetic insulins for diabetes attack the pancreas. Cholesterol drugs cause heart attacks and heart disease. These patients will never be free. Ask your doctor if he's ever cured any chronic disease or if they just get worse and pricier. Unlicensed drug dealers will sometimes use intimidation to eliminate competition, but doctors rely on regulators to destroy their competition. Don't you feel alive? Don't you feel surprised now? Open your eyes. There's nothing left to fear. Nothing that.